Today we're looking at doing some of the examples in section 1.3, Introduction to Excel Spreadsheets of Business Calculus with Excel. We're going to start by going through and you can look at the worksheet by clicking on the appropriate link. I have a version of the worksheet where the answers have been removed so we can look at how to build up the answers of the worksheet. We start with a worksheet that has the outline filled in. I've been given some data for January, February, and March of revenues, cost, units produced, and units sold. I'd like to compute quarterly figures, and I'd like to compute profit and cost. We're going to go through several ways of doing that. The first way of doing quarterly is I want to start with an equal sign because I'd like Excel to compute for me 3600 plus 3825 plus 4200 and Excel will now compute that for me. For costs I could do the same thing but I don't want to have to reproduce it each time so instead what I'm going to say is equals I want cell B3 plus C3 plus D3. And once again it computes for me, but this means now that if I change the numbers here, they'll change in the quarterly total as well. One of the other reasons why I'd like to do it is best shown if I go to the formulas tab and show formulas this lets me see what all of the formulas are I could have seen it one cell at a time in the formula bar but I can look here and say I'd like to repeat this do the same thing for the next row except it's going to be B4 and C4 and D4 and if I take my cursor and move it over the little black box it changes the color and shape of the cursor, which means I'm going to do a quick fill. And so B3 became B4. Understanding the references, B3, C3, and D3 from cell E3 is whatever's two to the left, what's ever three over, what's ever two over, and what's one over, we want to add those up. The other way I could get the same idea is I would like to take the sum of B5 to D5 and add those up. And if we go back and unshow the formulas, notice it's done all the additions for us. It's also, if I had changed 1200 had 1000 here, notice that it changed, or I wrote 100 down, notice that it changes the cells that are dependent on it. Go back to that. I'm going to keep show formulas on so we can look at how to build things. I'd like to do profit. Well, profit is revenues minus costs. And I want that to be done in all four columns. So I've quick filled, I've moved over. Notice I have the different shaped cursor and it fills all those in. I also want to produce the per unit cost. Well, that's going to be the costs divided by, and notice I'm clicking on a cell, the units produced, and that would give me the units cost. I'm now going to drag over and fill the things in. If I unshow the formulas, I have all of the numbers that I wanted. One last thing on this screen is most of these are actually dollar amounts, and so I'd like to format them that way. And so I'm going to look at revenues and costs, which are both in dollars. I'm going to format cells, and I'd like to format cells as currency. There are several different ways of doing currency. We have two decimal places, we're doing dollars, and we'd like negative values to have a negative number rather than be in red. So it's formatted 
If I have a lot of hash marks like that, that probably means I've taken something that's too wide to fit in the box, and so it's done all numbers. I'm going to do the same thing for profit and per unit cost because those are also dollars. I'm going to once again format cells. I'm going to format it as a currency. Click OK. I now have my worksheet doing the numbers that are for three months and adding them up. This was a review that had me looking at basic arithmetic in worksheets.